Hello students, welcome to the session of yoga therapy, integrated approach of yoga therapy in your final year BNYS. So we were discussing in our last class the methodology methods of yoga, kleshas and how to overcome the kleshas by different philosophy behind yoga, different, different explanations of yoga. We are continuing today also um, to uh, see the methods were explained by Patanjali, Abhyasa, Vairagya, repeated effort, really realizing inner self. The method explained uh, in Bhagavad Gita to overcome these, uh, the problem of repeated thinking and all those things we discussed in our last class, uh, attachment, hatredness, or attachment to desire, desire to hate, hatredness, hatredness to loss of memory, loss of memory to the loss of discrimination and everything is lost. So Bhagavad Gita the method is ability to maintain the inner peace. So we have to, what you have to do is, we have to balance what is the best way to overcome these repeated thinking and development of stress and giving destruction of the personality. Balance, whatever thought comes, just enjoy that thoughts. Don't react to the thoughts. Maintain the peace of samattvam yoga ujjit, siddha siddhyo samo bhutva samattvam yoga ujjit. Whatever comes, success or failure, or gain or loss, I am going to maintain my balanced state. So this is the secret of action according to Bhagavad Gita. So, yoga karma su kaushalam is a way of action. The secret is doing our duty very sincerely without bothering about the results. Similarly, success or failure, anything comes, I will maintain that stability. It is difficult, but it is not impossible. So, this is the way we can overcome that stress according to Bhagavad Gita. So, um, that's what they say is action in relaxation. You have to do the word karmasu kaushalam. Unattached action. Duty sense, but without expecting anything, doing totally, leaving all the fruits to Lord. There is a reference in Bhagavad Gita, in Bhagavad Gita about karma yoga. Arjuna, your duty, Krishna says to Arjuna, your duty is to work. Why you bother about the results? Leave to me. Leave everything to me. See, see if someone is there to take care of it, why you have to bother? Whole night thinking. I discuss with my sadhakas in Shantivana. Why you are bothering about next day business? Leave everything. Do sincerely your duty. Leave it. So you'll get nice sleep. Need not to be tranquilizer is required for a sedative is required to sleep. So a duty sense and relaxation, unattached action, which really works very well for you to uh, balance your personality. So that's why Swami Vivekananda rightly said. Yoga is a conscious process to accelerate our evolution to a single life. A few years or a few just days. But it is, takes you to a higher level. From animal level to the higher level. It is, in, it is the beauty of yoga. So, when we discuss about samattam yoga vichyate, we have to understand equanimity, stability, balance, harmony, equipoise, anything. But, maintaining the same state you can see in the picture. So, this is the way yogic techniques were explained. Um, here I want to discuss about uh, certain points which I already uh, uh, left over in our last slide which I thought I will discuss in the last part of it. So that is what uh, we are going to discuss about the integrated approach. So to uh, overcome this what we have to do? This is a big question for us. So the big question integrated approach now you know what is stress. Why you have to balance? What are the philosophy of yoga explains about it? Now you have to discuss what are the techniques are in all to balance this. When you treat the diseases, see each individual is different, each disease is different. We cannot generalize. So the integrated approach of yoga therapy, the integrated approach of yoga therapy means balancing all the levels. Now you know why you have to balance, you know the problem. It is imbalance in Vijnana Maya Kosha, imbalance in Manomaya Kosha, imbalance in Pranamaya Kosha, imbalance at diseases repeated at Annamaya Kosha level. Why you have to balance? The balance is essential because without balance there is an imbalance and leads to diseases. So the origin is there in Manomaya Kosha, origin is there in Vijnana Maya Kosha. So you have to balance all the layers. That's why the requirement of integrated approach of yoga therapy from Annamaya Kosha level to Vijnana Maya Kosha level. What are the techniques you will adopt at Annamaya Kosha level? That is important. First is diet. You can see here. Diet. And followed by Kriyas, then physical exercises, I left over it, but along with that, asanas. Four important techniques are adopted at Annamaya Kosha level. So normally it is a diet which goes to Vijnanamaya also, because Jnana is required, but we will discuss in both the way. So Sattvic diet, Ayur Sattva Balarogya Sukha Preeti Vardhanaha, Bhagavad Gita says, 
ரஸ்யஸ்திக்த ரித்யஹார் சத்துக பிரியா ஆயுர் சத்துவ பல ஆரோக்கிய சுக பிரீதி வர்தனா சத்விக் டேட் கிருஷ்ணா சேஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் வாட் டைப் ஆஃப் டேட் ஆயுர் இட் சுட் இன்க்ரீஸ் அவர் ஆயுஷ் ஆயுஷ் மீன்ஸ் அவர் லைஃப் அவர் வைட்டாலிட்டி சத்வா பியூரிட்டினஸ் இட் சுட் இன்ட்யூஸ் பியூரிட்டினஸ் ஆஃப்டர் ஈட்டிங் யூ சுட் நாட் இம்ப்யூர் லாட் ஆஃப் நெகட்டிவ் திங்ஸ் சுட் நாட் கம் பல ஸ்ட்ரென்த் சுட் கெட் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் இன்னர் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் நாட் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் சுட் பி ஹெல்தி ஆரோக்கியம் சுட் பி ப்ளெஷர்ஃபுல் விவர்தனா இன்க்ரீசிங் வாட் டைப் ஆஃப் டேட் ரஸ்யா சுட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் ரசாயனஸ் இட் சுட் பி ஒலேஜினியஸ் லிட்ல லிட்ல டேஞ்சிடு வித் ஆயில் லிட்ல நாட் ஃபுல்லி இட் சுட் பி ரஸ்யா ஸ்னிக்த ரித்யா எக்ரியேபல் ஆஹார சாத்விக பிரியா ஸோ தேட் டயட் நெவர் டிஸ்கிரைப் தாஸ் தாமசிக் டயட் You are all lethargy, it induces lethargy in you, overnight left, overnight cooked, cold, stale, impure, leftover, no, not even spicy, katu, amla, tikshna, it should not be very bitter, it should not be like a sore, no sore, no bitter, no chillies, no spices, but only fresh fruits, vegetables, naturally available, which induces vitality-ness, diet according to your guys, it should balance all our level. physical personality mental personality emotional personality spiritual personality and all the layers of intellectual person everything should be balanced so diet it's very important and about kriyas internal purification hatha yoga says this in in further chapters second chapter there is a reference for kriyas why kriyas are required so kriyas are essential to clean our internal purification so we have to clean inside we take about twice a day it's not enough we have to clean inside kriyas inside the mind ashtanga yoga kriyas internal purification all six type of kriyas to six improve the mind what is the important function of kriyas in therapeutic way because it is as i told it is purification and internal tonification all the organs should be tonified and desensitization see always sadakas complaints in shanti vana i am an allergy allergy kriyas are very helpful is involuntary control over the voluntary system so when you do that jalaneti or sutraneti it works very well in sinusitis and allergic conditions kriyas desensitization it reduces over sensitivity it includes our pranayama also many people i taught kapalbhati kriya works very well in allergy so desensitization your nasal mucosa allergic conditions will be removed along with that other yogas also we have to introduce desensitization and development of deep internal awareness so purification tonification then desensitization and development of deep internal awarenesses at annamaya kosha level next is physical exercises it is important so physical exercise is also very important so there is a physical exercises it, it induces uh, the flexibility strengthening our muscles losing our muscle that's why we say surya namaskar and losing exercise sir shitalikarana vyayama sir essential before practicing yogic asanas it's pre how to prepare your body so physical exercises it loosens the joints strengthen the muscles and there is a development of stamina development of flexibility these are all required for asanas so physical exercises and next comes is asanas so these are the practices which i am going to discuss you in further but i here i want to highlight to you about the necessity today we discuss about uh, all this stress and adi jaha vyadi and adi jaha vyadi we discussed in our last few hours and about bhagavad gita and patanjali's explanation about uh, the the uh, stress when patanjali says it is kleshas bhagavad gita says it is repeated thinking what is the best method explained by patanjali abhyasa vairagya tan nirodha repeated effort and detachment bhagavad gita says you have to calm down the mind equilibrium samatvam yoga uchyate and next we started with what are the practices to balance all these koshas we have started with the diet we discussed about different types of diet sattvic diet rajasic diet and tamasic diet which diet is prescribed in yoga that is sattvic diet the purity it should purity it induces purity in us similarly we discuss about the kriyas the internal purification and how it is very important because it is very important in naturopathy as well as in yoga in hatha yoga they says you have to purify your body if you don't purify your body if you sit in meditation it's not possible purify body internal purification all our stomach our esophagus our respiratory system our different cranium other sinuses everything nose everything should be cleared 
So this is we have discussed. And next we talk about physical exercises. The necessity of the physical exercises at Annamaya Kosha level to loosen the joints, strengthen the muscles. And in the next class we are going to discuss about the importance of asana at Annamaya Kosha level. Thank you.